Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the Faith Revival. The greatest inspiration that we have is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he often was inspired by the prophets that came before him, and wanted us to also be inspired by those prophets. He mentioned sallallahu alaihi wasallam in one hadith: "Nahnu ahqu bi shakki min Ibrahim." We have more right to doubt than Ibrahim when Ibrahim said, "Rabbi al-ladhi yuhi wa yumit, arini kaifa tuhi al-mauta." O oh my Lord who gives life and who gives death, show me how you give life and give death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded, Awalam tu'min. Do you not believe already? Don't you already have iman? Qala bala walakin yatma inna qalbi. Ibrahim alayhi salam said, Yes, but I just want my heart to be even put further at ease. So the Prophet ﷺ said, we have the right to also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at times or to have those feelings. If Ibrahim had those feelings, we too will have those feelings sometimes. And that's why this was Ibn Abbas's favorite ayah in the Qur'an because intellectually increasing yourself in knowledge allows you to feel more at comfort with your faith. And Mujahid rahimahullah said about this ayah that Ibrahim was saying, I want my iman to be further increased. So it's, I do have faith but I want my faith to even be further increase. So the Prophet ﷺ praised Ibrahim ﷺ for, for, uh, for the way that he asked that question and for the way that he answered. Then he said, and may Allah have mercy on Lut ﷺ, he wished to have a, you know, a powerful ally, someone to support him, but he was all alone in his city. And then he says, and if I was to stay in prison, as long as Yusuf السلام, stayed, la ajabtu da'i, I would have responded to the caller. What does the Prophet وسلم, mean by that? When Yusuf was in prison and his, uh, you know, the, the, the Malik, the king, wanted his dream interpreted and Yusuf provided the correct dream interpretation and he sent someone to take Yusuf السلام, out, Yusuf السلام, said, I will not come out until my innocence is, is, is established. So I need those people that got me in here. I want my dignity to be restored. I want my innocence to be established because if I get out because of you know something that I'm able to offer as opposed to being innocent of the charges that were thrown at me, then it will not be uh, sincere. So the Prophet ﷺ was admiring the trust in Allah that Yusuf ﷺ had after all those years in prison. Still, he said that I want to have my, my name cleared and I want to come out with all of those charges that were brought against me cleared and my innocence being established. Now, of course, when the Prophet ﷺ said, La ajabtu da'i, that I would have answered the caller, the Prophet ﷺ is praising uh, the attitude of Yusuf ﷺ, uh, as opposed to actually saying, you know, if, if he was in that situation, that he would have responded to that da'i. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ points to a very practical tip for how we deal with challenges to our faith. Because it is often in those moments of adversity that we find a strength in our faith that we, we perhaps did not even know was there. So he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that Hasbi Allah wa Ni'mal Wakil was said by Ibrahim Alayhi Salam when he was thrown into the fire. Hasbun Allah wa Ni'mal Wakil, meaning Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best disposer of our affairs. Allah is enough for me and Allah is the, is the best disposer of my affairs. So he said, Ibrahim said, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil, when he was thrown into uh, the fire. Sorry, this is narrated by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. And then he said that it was said to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to his companions, inna nasa qad jama'u lakum fakhshawhum, that this humongous army is mobilizing against you, so fear, fear them. And Allah said, zadatum imana, that all it did was it increased their faith. وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَ Allah wa ni'mal wakil. And they said, Allah is sufficient for us and Allah is the best disposer of our affairs. So Ibn Abbas was saying that this is what Allah strengthened Ibrahim with. This is what allowed his faith to increase. Was his saying even in those moments, حَسْبُنَ Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is enough for us and Allah is the best disposer of our affairs. And with the Prophet ﷺ and his companions, when they were threatened with massacre, what they responded with was, حَسْبُنَ Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best disposer of our affairs. And their faith was only increased then by the challenge. What this tells us is that when our faith is challenged, 
if we immediately resort to حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ Allah is sufficient for us and is the best disposer of our affairs. We too would find that our faith would increase in ways that it would not increase in our times of prosperity. For often in times of hardship, that's where we find our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَحَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always be our uh, tr- uh, our protector and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always uh, be the best disposer of our affairs as we call upon him hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil with full trust in him and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us against those that wish to do us harm and those that seek to decrease our faith or take us away from our faith Allahumma ameen jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh